Welcome to United by Trucks. Today, man, we have something super unique to show you and no, it's not that my beard is the shortest it's been in seven years because I had to take matters into my own hands. But today, we've got a special edition of Submit Your Truck, the square body edition. So I haven't even finished editing this video yet, but it's probably in the 30 minute long range, which I hope you guys enjoy because we've got 20 solid, unique, different square bodies coming your way in this episode. We're gonna start it off with a 73 stepper right here and let us know down in the comments what your favorite square body in this episode is. Hey guys, at United by Trucks, this is my 1973 Chevrolet C10. It is lowered five and seven with the drop spindle and drop shock package with the front sway bar all from Beltec. The rear has the relocator kit. It has 20 by eight US Mag Rambler in the front with 22 by 11 in the rear. I added the 20 by eight spare tire and wheel there on the, on the fender that I just love. When it comes to the bed, we updated the wood in the bed. I got that original United by Trucks and Square Body Syndicate sticker there. As far as the interior goes, it's remained pretty much untouched. I updated the gauge cluster with uh, the Dakota Digital. It's got some cracks in the dash pad. Uh, it is, is a non-factory AC truck. Uh, so that's gonna be some future plans. The interior is in, in decent shape. I, I'm not too too many complaints. It's got rust in all of the spots, like the cab corners and the rocker panels. It uh, for the uh, drivetrain, it is a 355 crate motor that I added Holly Sniper setup with. Um, goals to eventually go LS. Um, little mild build, nothing extreme. I want to make this a solid, reliable cruiser. I like to upgrade the front suspension to tubular control arms and um, the coilover kit, as well as all new wheels and tires with the um, Detroit Steel to go with that original look with all the creature comforts. Thanks for all you do. All right, UBT, this is my 1979 GMC three quarter ton camper special. It has 22,000 original miles. It has original paint. It has 350, 350 trans with the 410 gears. It's a work in progress, kinda. I got, uh, oh, just a new radiator, water pump, alternator starter. And uh, I'm gonna put on some dual exhaust, two and a half inch Flowmasters and leave the rest alone pretty much and drive it, hopefully to uh, someday meet you guys at one of these uh, square body shows somewhere. And uh, here's a little picture of the inside. UBT sticker going right there. Thank you and uh, enjoy watching your channel. Take care. How's it going guys? This is Chris with 75 Dually Garage and today I'm gonna show you my truck, the 75 Dually. So it's a 1975 C30 Camper Special. Now we've converted it over to a 1989 GMC Suburban front end. I'm a big GMC fan. I am a member of Bonsai Cruisers. Let me show you some of the unique things about this truck. First and foremost is the sleeper. It's actually the back half of a cab off a 61 Chevy big window. We were going to cut out the big window and save all the sheet metal, but we tried it out as a sleeper and it just looks so cool. It's so different. And then recently, I just finished the wing project and as you can see, we did some really unique mounts for it. And just before that, I love roof racks. So I built a roof rack for it. The interior is rather unique. 
on that same 61 Chevrolet cab that we saved, I took the dash out and we used the dash here in place of the 1975 dash. We're about to redo the center console and that will change here pretty soon. We also used seats out of a 1991 Suburban. One of the more unique aspects of my truck is that two years ago I converted it over to a 12 valve Cummins. I rebuilt the motor with four inch pistons. Obviously turbocharged but it's got a second gen turbocharged system on it. And right here we have the York air pump. And this is to power up the air ride system. That air ride system is half AccuAir and with a half inch valve that airs up the entire system. The suspension has been highly modified uh, so it can ride low and it rides fantastic. So guys that's my truck, the 75 Dually. Come see my channel on 75 Dually Garage if you get a chance. And as well, I really like what the guys at UBT are doing. Man, I love that channel. I look forward to everything that they put out. Great content. Hope everybody's doing okay with this coronavirus. Be safe, as you've probably been told a thousand times. Go hug your kids. Go give them kisses. And be safe out there. See ya! What's up, UBT crew? This is my 1983 short bed C10. It's a 350-350 turbo. It's been lowered 5.5 using DJM control arms and springs up front. That's why I'm able to clear the 15 by 8s no problem. And it's got a flip kit. I had shackles on in the rear, but it ended up setting lower than the front. So I uh, put some stock shackles back under it. I've had three different sets of wheels on it. They've all been 15 by 8s and I just went back with the stock rallies. But as far as the interior, it's pretty custom. I've got TMI seats with a 2015 Silverado jump seat. I've got the TMI dash pad, Dakota digital gauges, and vintage air. Come on, focus, there you go. Also have these uh, lower door panels that I had custom B-rolled. It has the Holly Sniper EFI on it. Makes it start up real easy. It's real nice in the winter. It's running dual three inch Borla exhaust Pro XS. It's pretty quiet. It doesn't drone like the Flowmasters I used to have on it. When I got this pickup five years ago, uh, basically all it had was a bench seat on the interior, all worn out bench seat. And the motor and trans had previously been rebuilt supposedly. So I've done quite a bit of work to it. Uh, I do have some plans on getting it painted one day, but right now I daily this, so I'm, it's not a top priority. It's pretty reliable and uh, that's my 83. What's up everybody in UBT world? This is a quick video of my 88 Chevy K5 Blazer. Uh, it's originally a Southern California truck. Uh, it's got 350 motor. It's, it's got 398,000 original miles. It's got 700 R4 trans. 10 bolts front and rear, 208 transfer case. Um, just threw some paint on not too long ago. Uh, it's got a four inch Rancho lift, American racing wheels and grill guard in the front and that was all done by my father-in-law when he bought it new right after he bought it actually um it's got 33 1250 tires uh inside has new carpet in it and some cheapo seat covers aftermarket radio made some new side panels for the back got 33 1250 spare got a co2 tank in the back it's got, oh, what else? Got an OBS roof rack from a Suburban, cut down to fit for the top. Um, all the emissions, etc., was removed from California, and AC was also deleted because it was leaking and not worth fixing. 
But anyways, uh, this is my 88. Thanks, guys. Terry, I want to thank you for taking your few minutes of your time to talk to us about your awesome square body. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. Yeah, man. Uh, it's kind of crazy. I've had it for about six years now. Um, I actually came across it from, on eBay. Uh, had a came across there. It was blue. Uh, so I, I told my wife, I said, that's it. I said, I got to have a blue truck. And uh, like I said, having it already painted and stuff like that was half the battle for me. So. All right, let's talk about the incredible paint job that's on here and what color it is. Yeah, it's a, the color is actually, believe it or not, is a Ford color. It's a 2010 uh, color name. It's called Blue Flame Metallic. Let's talk about the stance that you have here. Yeah, it's a it's a 5.7 drop on this truck. It's a static drop, all Beltec. Uh, suspension, you know, as far as the uh, drop spring and, and, the, and the spindle. And then uh, it's got the uh, flip kit in the rear with shackles and a, and a one inch block to give it that drop. Yeah, so let's talk about these uh, weather seals you got here, Terry. Yeah, so these are, uh, the whole truck has uh, got brand new uh, precision replacement part weather seals. Really, uh, man, these things are awesome. I got the front glass, back glass all done. These uh, vent windows are all, man, brand new glass seals, hardware. They really, they really did a great job for me. Tell me a little bit about these gauges. Yeah, this, those are uh, Dakota Digital gauges. Uh, pretty cool. Give you got an odometer. It's got your time there. You know, you can you can put your oil temp. You can do whatever you want on these gauges. They're really nice. You've got a forever sharp steering wheel there uh, in it. Terry, let's talk about the incredible tire and wheel combination that you have on here. Yes, sir. So, uh, what I have on here, these are uh, Raceline Classicos. Uh, on the rear here, I got a 22 by 10 and a half, uh, running a, a 295-30 R22 on, on the wheel, I mean on the tire. And then to the front, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a 20 by 10. I like that staggered look, you know, and then a 275-30 uh, R20 on the front. You know what the folks of this channel are going to ask? What do you have under the hood? It's a 5.3 LS, um, brand new crate motor that I put in here with the 4L60. Uh, I really wanted to make it look like it was something that could have came in the truck, right? Just uh, kind of give an old school look. Got a, vin a vintage front drive uh, with the Texas Speed cam in it. We put a cam in it, um, kind of hid the coil packs on the back of the head. All right, I noticed that you have these slosh tubs. Let's talk about those for a little bit. Yeah, these are these are from Mike uh, Mike Loach. These are the uh, what he calls his mild tubs. Allows me to run the stock uh, AC box and and you know the accumulator and stuff. Um, man, just love them. Also got his uh, filler panels in here to give you know give it that look. Uh, the, the tubs give me a, a, enough travel. I don't rub at all with these 20 by I got 20 by 10 wheels on the front, so and a 5.7 drop.
it's going to be huge for us and uh, we're really excited about that other cool thing we have is you know uh, saturday after we uh have the event out here which we'll all get downtown uh waxahachie uh, american racing sponsors an event called uh party on the square where we got a, a live band that comes downtown plays for a couple hours uh, uh, they also select their 50 favorite trucks from out here uh, and line the streets of downtown waxahachie with them Everybody's invited to come come down there and have fun and hang out with us. But really a, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Cool. Uh, Terry, I appreciate it very much. Thank you, Joseph. I really appreciate you and taking the time to, to spend with me today to look at Old Blue and, and talk a little bit. Welcome to Pad Idaho. Uh, this is my 77 GMC Jimmy Custom that I call Leesky. Uh, it was built by a guy named Dick Lee over in Ontario, Oregon, and uh, he used it on his farm to just run around the ditch, ditch banks and out in the field and stuff. He had a sprayer mounted in, in the back end for spraying weeds on the back end here on the bumper. He had a mount there that he could put a put a vise in to fix fix his farm equipment and stuff it's got uh, the body on it is diamond plate with one by two upper structure on it and a two by four lower structure there just got a roll cage there that he built out of uh, some three inch pipe stuff and uh got a 403 olds for a power plant in it runs really good um i always thought it was a cool looking rig when dick built it and then it popped up on craigslist here a few years ago and i bought it just because uh, i always wanted one of dick lee's farm rigs i'm gonna take the uh, old cage out i got another cage to put in it gonna do a few modifications to it put a lift in it change axles on it and just go have fun with it so uh, this here is the lease key thanks a lot Five trucks, what is up? It's my 84 GMC. I'm trying to be a little different. I don't like being like everybody else. Got a 20 by 9 in the front, a 20 by 10 in the rear. Got a 355 in it. I'd love to bring the front down another inch. Runs good, feels good drive it every day painted it myself my first paint job done a lot of research thanks to YouTube what for you guys this stuff be a lot harder than what it is interior is pretty much stock I'm working on it I want a stock feel stock look got door panels in gotta have the seat cover working on the floors dash guys thank you so much this is my 1973 Chevy C20. Underneath the hood, we got a old tire 454, and that's actually coming out for a 5.3 LS with maybe some heads cam intake or a turbo, who knows. And let's go look at the interior. See, it's all patinaed out. The interior is kind of shot, but I'm thinking about restoring the interior and leaving the outside all raunchy how it is. And as you can see, with this switch as air ride. Here's my rear air ride and four link setup, all that good stuff. This whole truck has been driveway built so far. So now I'm gonna show you guys what the air ride's gonna look like. Wanna air it out? That's the rear. The front still needs to go up a little bit, so uh put it at ride height that's pretty much a ride height right there for the front now that's what it's like now what's up guys i'm huck this is my 85 gmc sierra classic 
I bought this truck a couple months ago out of North Carolina. It's been there its whole life. It used to be a long bed truck. The guy I bought it from had it cut down and it even had right there a fifth wheel ball in it. So I'm going to get the bed line X dark blue to match the center stripe. Probably put the ball back in it just for fun. It's lowered down about four and a half, six on some 20 inch torque thrusts. I want to get a sport bumper for the back of it. I also want to get it down a little bit lower for right now. Get it to tuck some tire. This truck had 105,000 original miles on it. It's really nice. Everything works except for the cruise. Got my Snowden seats cup holder down there on the floor. Aftermarket head unit so I can listen to my iPhone. You can see some of the patina that it's got. Once he had it cut down, he had the thing clear coated. Normally I don't like that, but this truck pulls it off pretty well. Just a 305 turbo 350, 273 peg leg rear end. I want to do a uh, rowdy 60 4L60 or 5.3 6L60 with some 410 gears in it. Drop it down, make it fast, have fun with it. Eventually I'm going to go full pro touring, four link tubular arms. I like doing autocross, so this will be a heck of a truck in a few years, I hope. Thanks to the United by Trucks crew and Robbie for doing this for us and giving us something to check out while we're so social distancing. Nobody around. What's up, guys? I'm Kenneth Phillips. I have a Facebook, a Instagram, and a YouTube called Phillips Fabworks. I just piddle on stuff I have around here and stuff my dad does. This is my 1982 Chevy C10. It's got a 305 in it, four-speed manual. It's got a 5.6 drop I put in, me and my dad. It's been pretty reliable for me for a long time. Uh, my dad got it about 15-ish years ago. I've had it for the past three years. I have loved driving this thing around. It's been through a lot of changes, and this year it's gonna go through more. I call this thing Low Boy now. Custom touches I've done to this thing, if you wanna call them custom. I cut my Chevrolet symbol out of a piece of tin because I did not want to buy a new one and the grill is broken anyway. Yellow tinted headlights. I bought yellow automotive film, cut them out into a square, stuck them on there, razor bladed the rest off, and now I've got my yellow headlights. My truck looks like it's gross and dingy, and I love that a lot. As you can tell, with if you go through my Instagram, my other cars, my, my car, my 71 Buick, Skylark is that way. It is just disgusting looking and I love it. it. Gets a lot of tension too. I got my low boy plates. You can see there. Show you my interior. Got some custom stuff in here. I've painted it. All the, all the trim and door panels and everything in here have been painted several times different colors. My odometer doesn't work so I have absolutely no clue how many miles are actually on here. My fuel gauge works sometimes. I just put a new ignition in here before I went to LST. Same with my seat cover here. My super long shifter here, dad made as a joke, which I actually loved. My piece of tin and uh, cut it out to cover the nasty radio hole that someone really butchered trying to put an aftermarket radio in. Custom cup holder. A lot of people love the sport bumpers right now. Those are super hot, but I loved stamped bumpers. Dealer stamp bumpers are literally my favorite thing about these trucks almost. It's so cool seeing how many different dealerships there are and where some of them have came from. I'll show you my back glass here. It was almost completely empty when I went to LST, came back from LST, almost completely full. Got Big Ten Garage. Thanks for giving me your a sticker. I bought a C10 Talk one. Hung out with Ugly for a long time down there. Hung out with United by Trucks, so thanks for the sticker. Square body. So I would like to get all straight body panels. The doors have to be replaced. Straighten up some huge dents in the bed. Then I want to paint the whole thing. The original natural color that you see back here on the cab in the bed. I think I want to do Detroit steel wheels. I think I want to do the 20 by eight because I daily this truck. This is my daily driver. I want to get some billet badges done. I say low boy. I hope that was enough information for you guys. It's very cool that you guys are actually doing this video thing. That's so cool. I wish I had original ideas, you know? <laughs>
<laughs> it was very cool hanging out with you guys at LSD. I hope to see you guys soon on another car show tour thing. You guys have an awesome day. Stay safe out there. Peace. Guys, got a 1987 GMC short bed. It was built from the ground up by me and my wife in that two car garage. We did everything from the body and paint to the motor swap. It's got a custom mix orange pearl from our local paint store, American Racing, Supernova fives, ten and a halves in the back, nines in the front. It's got a rear disc conversion. Tinted to match bed liner. And you've got to have a bottle opener for your tailgate. Interior was done with me and my wife. We got the TMI seat. The motor out of a 2007 Silverado 5.3 4L60E, BTR, NSR cam. LS6 lifters, springs, ported polished heads, and uh, tuned by a good friend of mine. So I hope y'all enjoy it as much as we do. Thanks. This is my 1978 GMC Sierra step side. It's got a 350, just put a set of long tubes on it with a three speed, the granny low. It has a 5.7 drop with the Riddler 650 wheels, the flip kit in the back, springs and spindles in the front, the C notch, currently no bed in the back of it. Plans for the future, hopefully a built 5.3 with a 4L80 swap. Thanks for checking out my truck. What is going on, UBT guys? Chevy guy, 83 here, uh, from uh, Vancouver Island, Canada. Just wanted to show and share with you guys my 86 K10. Short box, Silverado. Had this truck oh, about six years, bought it in 2014. Uh, off a buddy of mine, always wanted the truck, so finally when the time came, he said I could buy it off of him. It's a uh, 350 mild cam with uh, the factory 4-speed in it. it uh, it's a factory 4-speed truck. Not crazy about the SM465 to be honest. I think I'd like to swap it to an automatic. And I think I'm going to make it a fuel injected with a Holly EFI system and a uh, newer 350 this summer when I get my current project done. But in the meantime, this is a great little truck, lots of fun to drive. And I am working on a 91 C1500. It was one of the factory sport trucks. It's a small block automatic truck originally. Looked like a 454, but it wasn't. I've uh, painted the truck, got all new trim for the truck, and I've put a uh, LQ4 6 liter with a BTR Stage Street truck cam. So that'll be done. That should be fun. And then I'll get back into doing this one. Thanks, guys. United by Trucks. Big shout out, boys. Here from Texas. This is my 1987 square body. His nickname's L. Wood. Uh, custom interior. I built all the console and stuff myself. It's hot. It's house in a Rockford Fosgate uh, 12 inch woofer in the console. Hertz surround sound. Nice little pickup. Dyno mat in the floors. All new carpet. All complete new interior. Got a nice little stance on it. Five in the front, seven in the rear. 
22 inch wheels, staggered, 10 in the front, 11 in the back. That's right, boys and girls, American, USA. So, Elwood's house on a 5.3 liter LS. Got a Brian Tooley stage three cam. I broke the motor completely down, knew everything. It's got a built tranny 460E. Back here over here in the back, give her a little bit of attention before it's all over. That's my 78. Daisy, short bed. Also, nice little pickup, inline six, three speed granny. Nice little survivor pickup. We're a fan of red down here in Texas. Boys and girls, just want to show you what's in my yard. It's fun looking at all y'all's. Y'all be safe. Have a good one. Hey, Mark Richard here. Freaks of Nature in Lancaster, California. Today I work on the vehicle from Unforgiven Victorville. Uh, this is a 1975 Chevy C30 that uh, we've done a lot of work to. I'm, I'm proud to say that we've done a lot of work for too. If you notice right away, we are on air ride suspension. Uh, the gentleman that owns the vehicle, Blue is his name, he used, uh, decided to do the train horn and really good color gas tank. Um, in the back, it's not lit up right now, but we have LEDs and the taillights. On the side here, uh, we have uh, standard 16 inch alcohol wheels, <laughs> but they're clean. Uh, the gentleman that actually owns this truck, Lou, uh, he has kids and stuff, so he actually uses the four doors of this, tr of this truck, uh, besides his daily driver. Uh, the interior is mostly stock. Uh, uh, on the roof, we have the smoke lights. Uh, we have the breast cancer because uh, we support breast cancer awareness. Front wheels are also out of color. Uh, 1975, 454. Uh, excuse the wheel wells, we haven't made them yet, but they're they're in the process. Um, this actually, this motor is not going to stay. It's going to be actually become an international 7.3 with a five speed behind it. LED headlights, billet grill, uh, cover was bored, so he decided to make a chain steering wheel, like you do. And the best part about this truck is it's got two things going for it. We have air ride. We have a train horn. Thank you, United yeah. 1980 C10 Custom Deluxe 4.8 4L60E. Oh, well. Three inch spindles, two inch springs, flip kit in the rear, oh, oh. bucket seats, console. Stock rally. It's even got power mirrors. going on guys my name is Albert Molina I'm here in Houston Texas this is my 86 Chevy C10 Suburban I've had it for about like four weeks now and uh, it's my daily driver as soon as I got it of course I lowered it put an exhaust took off a lot of the smog stuff on the 350 which is the original drivetrain with uh, quite a bit of miles but it runs good and uh, just been driving it, man, and enjoying it. Trying to work on it during this whole quarantine thing. Here's the interior. It's pretty clean. Has cracks on the dash, which is expected. Original radio with one blown speaker that works. It's driving me crazy. But fix that later. Thank God for headphones and an iPhone and Spotify. <laughs> yeah, this is the rear. Has this tear on the seat needs a carpet pretty bad but it's all there she runs good man been wanting one of these for a really long time sold my obs my bagged obs and picked this one up and started working on it yeah needs a grill a tree branch during a storm fell on the fender 
and he hit a deer. Plans are to bag it, make it lay true frame, and do an LS swap. Hopefully, next year it'll be getting bagged. The guy who did my C notch, he's gonna bag it for me. It's gonna be cool. Can't wait, man. Drag this thing around at shows. Shout out to United by Trucks for putting out awesome videos and letting us be a part of it. Thank you guys so much. Hope everyone's staying safe in this quarantine and working on their rides. Take care. Hey guys, Anthony from Cleveland, Ohio. With my 1985 Chevy C10 Scottsdale. Rocking a 355 small block. Got some headers, 350 Vortec heads, Edelbrock intake, Holly carburetor it's got a small cam in there nothing crazy rock is a 15 by 7 factory rallies factory oe center caps metal ones interior needs a little help i got a bench i want to put in there don't mind my daughter's toys got a factory gauges redid all that with some leds need a radio to put in looking at me to do some del rays eventually United by Trucks, you guys rock. Hope you guys will build another one soon. Particularly that burb. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Alright guys, so I really, really hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it was long, but it was action-packed with all kinds of cool square bodies. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. Definitely smash that thumbs up button if you like what you've seen today. And leave a comment. Let us know what your favorite square body in this special square body edition of Submit Your Truck is. And if you want to know how to submit your truck, hit the link down in the description. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you next time right here on United by Trucks. Music.